Hi Natasha, my name now is well as international students. Today I'm going to introduce you to logarithms. But for you to understand what are logarithms, you must know where they come from. So I'm going to teach you on this lesson, theory of logarithms. For instance, 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 1000. So if you are to write this in, in logarithm form, it will be log 1000 equal to 3. There's something that I want you to take note of. If there is no base here, automatically it's in base 10. And I want you to understand this, your calculator is in base 10. So it means anything, any log in base 10, you can prove it with your calculator. If you punch on your calculator, log 1000, you are going to see that your answer is going to be 3. So how do you calculate it? If you are asked, like for instance, if they just ask you find log 100, you must know that 10 to the power of 3 is equals to this one. So, this to the power of that is equal to that. But as I told you, they are asking you now, find log 100. Automatically, there is a base 10 here if there is no base. So, equal to the answer that is, that, that is what we want. So, we are going to use any algebra. Let us use x. So, it means 10 to the power of x must be equal to 100. And as you know, we must make the bases the same. If the bases are same, it also means that our powers will be same. So it's going to be 10 to the power of x is equals to 100, the same as 10 to the power of 2. So it means x is equals to 2. Remember, if bases are same, it means powers are also same. This, if you want to prove it, so it means log 100 of base 10 is equals to 2. If you want to prove it, as I told you, if you punch log 100 on your calculator, you're going to see that your answer will be 2. Right. Let us do the last one in log 10, then we'll do something that won't be in log 10. Let's say, for instance, you are asked to find just log 10. What is it that you have to take note of? You must take note of your base. If there is no base, automatically it's in base 10, as I told you. So, here there is a 10 here. Equal to, let us use P. So, it means 10 to the power of P is equal to 10. So, 10 to the power of P, bases are already the same here, the same as to the power 1. It's equal to 10 to the power of what? 1. So, it means P is equals to 1. So log 10 of base 10 is equals to 1. If you punch log 10 on your calculator, you're going to see that your answer is going to be 1. Now let us do something that won't be in base 10. Let's say you're asked to find log 8 of base 2. What is it that you are going to do? You are asked your answer so you introduce any algebra that you want let us use y this time so it means 2 to the power of y is equals to 8 then make the basis the same 2 to the power of y is equals to 2 to the power of what 3 8 the same as 2 to the power of 3 so it means y is equals to 3 this means log 8 of base 2 is equals to 3 unfortunately this you cannot prove it with your calculator because your calculator is always in base 10 Right, let us do another example. If you are asked to find, then they say log m of base 5 is equal to, uh, let's say log m of base 5 is equal to 3, like this. What are you going to do? Now you are asked to find this one. So you know that it's 5 to the power 3 equal to m. So 5 to the power 3, what is the answer? 5 times 5, that is 25. 25 times 5, that is 125. So it will be 125 equal to m. So it means your answer there is m. Anything that you'll be asked, let us do something whereby you'll be asked to find your best. Let's say you are given something like this. Log uh, 27 equal to 3, like this. Right. You are asked to find, maybe there is y here. What you just have to know is y to the power of this equal to 27. Then, for you to remove this, remember, introduce the cube root. Cube root. So it means y is equal to cube root of 27, that is 3. So it means 3 to the power 3 will be equal to 
27. Now, let us do our last example. Let's say you are asked to find log 1 over 7 of base 7. Then you are asked to solve it. They just say simplify. Or what is the numerical value? So what you have to know is you are going to use our multiplications or our methods. Now, let us use in algebra. I know that we are used to x, so we are going to use x. Right, so it means 7 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 7. And remember, you have to make the bases the same. So it will be 7 to the power of x equal to 7 to the power of negative 1. Now bases are same. So it will be x is equal to negative 1. If you don't understand how this becomes 7 to the power negative 1, it means you have to watch some of my lessons on Semp of TV YouTube channel. I hope that uh, you understand. So this means our answer here would be negative 1. Log 1 over 7 of base 7, the answer is equal to negative 1. I hope that you completely understand. Don't forget to subscribe for more beneficial lessons like this. Please comment on the comment section such that I know what else you need me to help you with. I hope that you are always trying by all means to say, stay safe and revise each and every day for you to have a distinction in mathematics. Stay focused.